guys, what's up? It's Winnie here. I am back today with a Coachella inspired makeup look for you. I know Coachella is this weekend. Unfortunately, I'm gonna be missing out this year, but I still wanted to play around with my makeup and create a look. I pretty much just base the look around some white eyeliner and glitter. So I just had fun with the design and came out with this. And I also did a Coachella haul, which I will link down below if you guys are interested in checking that out. But if you're not going to Coachella, then you can just recreate this look and sit around and hang out at home, which is pretty much what I'm gonna be doing. So let's go ahead and get into it. I already have my brows done and I typically don't do my face makeup until my eye makeup is finished. But because this eye look is going to kind of, you know, be around the whole eye area, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my face makeup. I'm gonna start with a hydrating primer for my face. It's from Makeup Forever. And by the way, if you are going to Coachella, do not forget your sunscreen. That's gonna be super important. You do not wanna get sunburnt. I really like this primer because it actually feels like my foundation has something to stick to. And it also keeps my skin feeling a lot more hydrated throughout the day. And for foundation, I'm using the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation in the shade Buff. And I typically wouldn't choose such a full coverage foundation, especially because you are going to be outside for most of the day. But this foundation wears really well for me and I feel like on my skin, it just doesn't move, it doesn't budge. So I know how it's gonna look throughout the day. So that's why I'm gonna be using this. And I just kind of draw random lines on my face. And I'm gonna blend everything out with the new Eco Tools Beauty Sponge. I've actually been loving this sponge. This feels a lot like the Real Technique sponges, so if you like those, I think you're gonna like this. It has that same like soft, squishy feel to it, but this has two flat surfaces on it, so it makes baking your face really easy because you can pack down the powder really well. And for concealer, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium. And I just turn the sponge to its side so that I can really get into the corners of my eyes. I'm gonna start with using the Morphe 25A palette and I'm just picking up a light peach color. And then I'm taking a light orange and just building up the warmth. Now I'm just gonna pick up this light tan shade here and then I'm gonna work this into the crease. Now I'm taking this brick red color here and I'm gonna place that right around the outer crease. Now I'm gonna go in with a cool tone brown. It's kind of like a gray brown, this one right here. And I'm gonna place that on the lid, kind of towards the inner corner. And I'm not gonna go over my crease with this. I just kind of wanna keep it on my lids, really. And then I'm gonna take an even darker cool brown, this shade right here, and then I'm gonna place it right at the outer corner of the lid. And I'm going in with a little bit more concealer under my eyes just to make sure there's not too much fallout and also just to fix up the edge of the eyeshadows here just a tiny bit. And I'm also going to set my under eyes now because this is where the eye look kind of moves onto the face a little bit. I'm just picking up a little bit of my RCMA No Color Powder and I'm just packing it underneath my eyes here. And while that's baking, I'm just going to contour my cheeks here with my NARS Narcissist this Cheek Studio palette. Just going to dust away the bake with a big fluffy brush. Now I'm gonna go in with some glitter. This is the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the color Molten Midnight, which is a beautiful black base with a gold and silver glitter, and it's so, so sparkly. And I'm just going to start by using a little bit on the center of my lids here and I'm going to tap it out with my ring finger, but this will stay put and it's not gonna move whatsoever. It's amazing. I'm taking the shade Bronzed Bell, which is a bronzy copper base with a really pretty silver glitter. And I'm gonna place this on the inner kind of corner, like on the side of my nose here. I don't know how to explain it. Kind of toward my brow on the side of my nose. It's like a glitter nose contour, if you will. If there is any glitter areas that you wanna correct, just take a clean brush and kind of dust it away once the liquid eyeshadow has dried down a little bit. I'm gonna actually skip winging my eye with eyeliner, but instead I'm gonna take a white eyeliner from Stila. It's in the shade Snow, and I'm going to create a kind of like a cut crease, but I'm just going to draw it right on my lid. It's easiest to start this on the inner corners and just drag your hand along. Now I'm gonna finish off the bottom half of my 
eyes and I'm just gonna take the same light tan shade and run it along the lower lash line. And then with a flat definer brush, I'm taking a warm dark brown and I'm just going to pack it close to the lash line. And to finish off the eyes, I'm going to add mascara and my falsies and then we'll continue the design on the face. And while the glue dries, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of blush on my cheeks. It's just from the NARS Cheek Studio palette that I was using before. I'm also gonna do my highlight and I'm gonna be using the Kevin Aquan Sahara Golden Rose Glow, the Neo Highlighter Palette. But I'm gonna use this kind of as a base and all over highlight on my face. So I'm gonna start with the tops of my cheeks. If you can't tell, I'm going for a super glowy look. And then I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit and I'm gonna take, I think I'm gonna use Glow Getter first, but I always end up just mixing all of these together because I think they are so pretty and I can't stop using them. And I'm gonna take a little bit of Kitty Cat here just to kind of blend it into my blush. Okay, the glue is dried. And these lashes are the Ilor and Anne Lee collab and these are my favorite, favorite ones. I've been wearing these a ton in my videos. You guys keep asking me which ones they are. So the eyes are pretty much done. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the face design which I'm using the Stila Liquid Liner in Snow again. It's just a really, really nice pigmented liquid liner that works really well. And this has such a nice fine point to it. You can really do some intricate designs, but I'm just going to make little dots around my face. So I'm gonna keep it pretty simple since the eye makeup is pretty dramatic. I'm just gonna make little dots above my brow kind of going along the top of it. And this does not have to be perfect. I don't think anyone's going to go up to you and be like, your dot on your face are not the same size and that really bothers me. And if they do, maybe you should tell them to get away from your face because they are too close. I'm also gonna make some little dots along the side here just cause. I'm just gonna do a little design on my face. Okay, I just made a couple more dots just like underneath my eyes and on the like outer side of my wing. But for the lips, I'm using Dose of Color in the shade Cork. And I'm going to also do a little lip design on top of this. I wanna do more dots on my forehead. I feel like it's really bare. So I'm just gonna do a couple more right here. I just made a tiny little triangle design with a little tiny baby diamond on the center of it. And I'm just going to draw a white line just right down the center. And that's pretty much the completed look. really went crazy with the white liner, but it's just so much fun to play around with. So if you are going to Coachella, just get creative and have fun with your look. Anything goes. Don't worry too much about how your hair and your makeup and your clothes look. Just have fun and enjoy the moment with your friends. And if you want, you can always check me out on my Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram, which are all linked down below. I'm always on there. I'm always chatting with you guys there. So don't be afraid to say hi or whatever, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.